I've been in, in this area of the state all of my life, and I know the Elliott family probably as well or better than anyone in this area for sure. Uh, Dick and I came both to the beach. I'd been a lifeguard here for a few years, a few years, and after I finished law school, I knew where I wanted to go. I came, built a little office that was a shabby little thing, and up comes Dick and Ann in a little shabby house right in the back of my law office. So we couldn't become not be friends because it started out at the same time. We're we're about the same age. Uh, he's much better looking and healthier than I am, but I uh, I've loved the family for a long time. They are just. When I first started to run right after we got here, uh, lawyers at that time couldn't, could not advertise. So I decided to run for the state legislature to get my name out. And hell, I won. It was because of Dick and Ann and that crowd that, that helped me. So when I could not have been elected to the state legislature nor to the United States Congress without the help of the Elliott family. Now, when we first started out, it was, it was interesting. He, had, he started opening a little real estate office and nothing like he has now, but a little real estate office. And he went against some real real estate barons, people that have been here many years, had all of the real estate under control, it looked like. But Dick came along and he plugged and plugged and plugged until he was a, 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 on equal with some of these people. He, After I got in politics, he got interested in it. And over the years, he served on the county council, the city council, and the longest serving senator in the history of this county, and I'm honored to have had, had opportunity to, to serve with him and the work that he's done when, when we were trying to help the colleges, Coastal and jo Overy, Georgetown Tech, come along and uh, quite interesting. I, when that time, I, when we ran at that time, there were no, no uh, districts, it was all the county. So there were four of us in the county, and I said I ran just to get my name out, and I won, and the whoever had the most votes was the chairman of the delegation. So I'm a 22-year-old guy sitting there with 65-year-old men that had been in politics for all that time, hardly knowing what to say and scared to death to, for a while. But then it, it got in, and we worked hard on, on coastal and tech. And I remember sitting there, these older uh, gentlemen were as old as I am now then, but the, we, they said, we want every child in O'Ree County to have an education, a college education, and that's what we're going to do. Heck, we didn't think much about it. You know, 50 or 75, 100 people coming to college, and that's 10,000 people. For what we just started over the years, it's now 10,000 people in a great school, and, and we've both been very much for education. And when I was in Congress, he would send me notes, help this person do this, do that. I'd do it, and I'd see somebody. I'd send it back to him. You help him, too. So it was uh, we, we sort of fell in not having really wealth in, in growing up, and I certainly didn't, nor did Dick, um, we sort of migrated to the people that needed help. The, the wealthy people could get help. They knew how to do it. But the other ones didn't. And Dick and I both grew up very poor and very tough. And so our interest was seeing that the people that really needed help really got that help. We didn't neglect the others, but we knew they could doggone take care of themselves. So that's sort of what I took in Congress. That's what Dick took to the Senate. And I think that we've helped people that would never have had an opportunity had it been someone that had, had had all of the truthfulness of, I mean, all of the skills of life poured on to them. We had, we had to dig for everything we had, and we knew what those people were going through, and we helped them. Dick has been a, a, a savior for the highways. You look around here and you see these highways that we've been struggling for, Dick Elliott. You look around and see the, the buildings, and when I was in Congress, uh, Brian Floyd, a friend of ours, was was mayor and we tried to keep him, we wanted to keep him as mayor because it was a tough job, I mean tough opponent he was coming up. So all these buildings around here that have Floyd building and stuff like that, I got the money from, from Congress, Dick got the money from the state legislature to build those buildings and we were happy to have done that and we kept our mayor. But Dick has had a tough time, the, the Republicans in the state have, have put him in a position that he could not uh, possibly tolerate it. it they they controlled everything. They didn't want him to do anything. And he was, a, a, you know, Democrats, we don't have, uh, it used to be all Democrats. Now it's it's the other way around. But I, I honor Dick for keeping that. He had many times that Republicans wanted to bring him in and he stayed. Thank goodness. I, I preached to him more than I could tell you how much. I said, don't leave me, boy, don't leave me. I'm not going to be a Republican. And he didn't. And it's been, it's been great. He had a great backup, the kids and Ann. Now, when I think of Ann, 
the first thing I think of is Lady Dot. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I know Prince Charles. I'd, I'd much rather have known her, but I know Prince Charles, and I know that he was always on his stuff doing, and she was doing, and Dick was on his stuff. Anne would go other places. She'd bring him back information about what people were saying about his being in, 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 in the Senate or me being in, in Congress. She'd give us that information. She was a great supporter, and, and they've just been, been so good. And when I think of Dick, I think of a, a, a great fellow from this county, Craig Wall Sr. Craig Wall, came to, me, Craig Wall came here with absolutely nothing, died too early, uh, almost a billionaire, I guess, and uh, you can tell what he's done for the county if you ride around and see what he's done for the county. And Dick Egg, we're in our, Dick and I are in our fourth quarter, uh, and we now are trying to decide what's the best thing to do, uh, not just for our legacy, but for the people. And I just uh, believe that uh, Dick seeing and being a, being mentored by Craig Wall helped us both as as we went through life, and his name is all over Coastal now, and he's been great for the place for the county, and I believe that that Dick Elliott, before he leaves, will ha have a foundation that the kids from O'Ree County will have a place to go to get support for their college education, and it'll be the, the middle class, the ones that read, need the help, and I think they will be Elliott Scholars. I think from that Dick Elliott will have so many people coming out of that school with his name based on his Elliott Scholars, and I do believe that he will be, his legacy is strong now, but it will be even stronger. Dick, I think, probably right now, has more assets than anybody in this O'Ree County. And he didn't inherit them. He didn't do anything but work, work, work. A great family. The boys are great. And the daughter, gosh, had she wanted to be, she could be Miss America, but have been Miss America. She is that type lady. And his, he's trained them that way. He's worked with them. They know, they know that, that people come first. They're always that way. And there's nothing I can say better than he's been a dear friend. You don't find many. And I love him to death, all the family. Go, Dick. We were always close friends. And if he was in a race, I was there helping him and vice versa. So, and a lot of things can come up in a campaign. And, and uh, it's, uh, it's amazing how things, uh, this uh, Galwitz Ferry uh, stump speaking that's been going on for over 100 years here, we were always there. And there's always someone that, I, I don't want to say has a mental problem, but a little off a little bit, and they come to you and say, do you know who I am? Senator or Congressman, do you know who I am? You know, and, well, what's my name? You know, that's the darnest thing somebody can ask out there in a crowd of 100 people. And, what is my name? And you're supposed to know, man. And so what we had, a little signal calling thing. If we would see one in trouble, I'd call him and say, Dick, catch that telephone or something like that. And I'd say, that's George Smith. <laughs> so, he, George, you know I know your name. So, you know, we had a little run going like that. And, uh, and you know, counting votes is a, is a hard job. And uh, trying to keep your people in line when, when you don't have a lot of money, when your opponent's got a lot more money than you do, you have to come up with imaginative ways to, uh, to, to do things. And just like Dick, Dick uh, built the first golf course down here. He, I was an attorney and a partner in it, but Dunes Club and, and Surfside had their courses. We were scared to death. We wouldn't make a damn dime, and it's been the best best uh, deal that uh, that Dick's ever been in, and I was in it, and when my first wife got that golf course. My second wife got my surf club stock, and I'm just begging my, I don't have any more stock for my third wife to give, but, but they have been, in saying that, they've been close and still close to my first wife. They've been close to my second wife, even though she was in Playboy four times, they still liked her. <laughs> they've been very good to me in, in all that turmoil, and I've been through some very, very tough times, and I've made some bad mistakes, and, and they were there. They were there. And I just, just, uh, I haven't told you much about the things, but anyway, it's, uh, it's, politics is a game of addition. 
You're going to make somebody mad when you do a vote. You're going to lose some votes. So you've got to get out there and, and keep building. You've got to keep building, building, building. And as I saw in, in when I was in Congress, I could have been there a long time, but the state turned totally Republican, and I just didn't want to do that. And I had other problems, but uh, it's, it's uh, when you when, – when you see Dick in, a, in, a, in the Senate, and they're voting and all, you could see him, I could go ahead and I'd see him sitting over in the corner with a couple of senators talking. He wasn't the flamboyant one of the senators by any means, but he could get the thing done. He could go and s kind of s slip around those people and trade off votes and all, and we do that. He trade off votes. Uh, but he, he, he would do that, and if he would tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something, he would do it. He was with me one night when I flew in. I'd had a few drinks. I flew into Georgetown, had a few drinks, and they said, well, listen here, Congressman, we want that, that bri old wooden bridge over the Sand Pit River. We want that a, 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 a bridge, a high bridge. And so Dick and I talked about it a little bit, so I went back to Washington, and, and with his help, I was looking around for bridge money. There was no new bridge money. So I was thinking to myself, well, I'm going to go over to the Department of Transportation and see if they got any bridge repair money. Sure enough, they did. So I called Dick, and we worked and worked and worked and got it worked out, and I brought a, a check for $20 million to Georgetown to build a bridge with Dick's help. And that bridge right now has helped those people. Oh, and by the way, uh, the old bridge was level, had no elevation. And uh, the money I got, I put a, had an amendment that the money for this bridge must must ex meet or exceed coastal uh, the coastal uh, what uh, the coast guard the coast guard's uh, need for height of a bridge, which is 60 feet. So if you go to Georgetown Bridge going to Charleston and you see Sand Pit River Bridge, it is not a new bridge. It's an old bridge that I had, I got the money and we built a new bridge, but it's an old bridge. But he, that was the sort of things that we were able to do together. And what he's done in Ory County is, is phenomenal. If you see what he did in the roads and all in these last few years, he is the kind of guy that anybody would appreciate knowing. I love him. I love the family. They've been so good to me. And uh, I just wish them wish well. They've been so good. They've been so good for this county.